The next entrepreneur to enter the den is Mancunian carpet fitter Tin and McCorkle, who's hoping for wall-to-wall -wall offers from the Dragons. I believe my product's a really good product, and obviously I think it could be a very successful business. The cool, calm and collected craftsman has done his homework on which multimillionaire is the perfect fit for his company. The Dragon would like to invest in a business of probably Deborah, because she's into DIY, so I'll have to see. Hello Dragons, my name's Tina McCorkle. I'm from a company called Pipe Easy Limited. Uh, and I'm here today to secure, hopefully, an investment for 41,000 for 15% of the company. Pipe Easy Limited own the uh, Pipe Easy tool, which is a unique invention for the DIY user or tradesperson, which gives them ability to go around pipes and posts quite easily. Uh, I'd like to give you some samples and answer any questions you might have. A revolutionary ruler that makes cutting surfaces around pipes more accurate is the product on offer from Tin and McCorkle. Thank you, Tier. Right, cheers, guys. Can you show me how it works? Right, OK. I'll just show you a quick demo. He's asking for £41,000 for 15% of his business. So I've preset the Pipe Easy tool, which will just go around the post to get its exact template. The template would then go onto your flag. You draw around the shoulders of the pipe easy wedge, spinning it round. It's got a hole to put the marker into. Yeah. You just get your drill bit, obviously, you get that drilled. And there's one you made earlier. Yeah, one we've done earlier. Now the dragons have got the measure of how the tool works. Theo Pafitis wants to drill down into the detail of the business. Right, Tieran, hello, I'm Theo. OK, Phil, good to see you. So when did you launch this? When did you make it? I've been developing it for about two years. I've had it out on social media for about seven weeks. Right. And have you sold any? I've not sold any, cos that's what I need the investment for, to make the mould, to make them cheaper to produce. Well, how much does it cost you to make? At the minute, it's £16.65. How much do you sell it for? £19.99. £19.99? Yeah. So that's why I need to make a tool so I can cast it, so I can make a production a lot cheaper. And what will it cost to make when you've done that? Uh, £7.18. And have you got a patent on this? Patent pending. Right. OK, so what have you actually sought to protect? Uh, the wedge itself, the bit that goes round half the pipe. This? The wedge, yeah. So you're pipe. claiming this is a ruler? Uh, a surfacing... Measuring tool. With a device... To go around the pipe. To go around the pipe, OK. Is there anything out there like this? Is the, nothing. What's the nearest thing? No, nothing at all. Nothing at all? Nope. Tiernan has a clear plan to increase profitability and a product that appears to be unrivalled in the marketplace. Sarah Davies wants to know who exactly would want this in their toolbox? Tierney, what I don't understand is, is the market tradespeople or DIYers? DIY. So DIYers currently tiling would have that sort of equipment to drill those sorts of accurate holes? To mark, yeah, to mark the holes out, obviously pre-drilling, yeah. Got to be quite advanced DIYers to, to have that sort of kit at home, do you not think? Eh, not necessarily. There's multiple pipes all around the home. Sure. But my husband's relatively good at DIY, my father yeah. knows a builder. Yeah. But we get tilers in to do our tiling. They don't right. do it themselves. Yeah, it can be quite unique tiling, yeah. I personally think you're marketing opportunities tradesmen, which is absolutely fine. Yeah. Maybe it's not as big a market as the DIY market, it but I still think be, it's yeah. sizable. Um, so I want to understand then, so what are the other applications of this? Any type of pipe, pillar, post, traffic light, lamp post, any type of surfacing. Tiernan is coolly confident about the commercial potential of his startup product. Now, Tej Lalvani wants to know if he has a clear strategy for how to get it to market. 
Kenan. So you get the money. Yeah. And you get the price down to manufacture yeah. it. Where are you going to sell it and how are you going to sell it? Oh, yeah, that's where I need a help off a dragon. It's probably be sold best in DIY in any of the chain stores. Well, have the you worst. gone and spoken to any of these big DIY retailers? I've sent about three or four emails off. Kingfisher Group, uh, Wix and Screwfix. And have they responded? I haven't heard anything back, but they said four to six weeks. Yeah, I mean, as a dragon, I, I can't get a sense of how this is going to be received in the market. Um, if it's unique enough, yeah. as a retailer, I want new products all the time to put on my shelf. That's so you only done. back a racehorse when you know no, which one's won? No, but I need to understand the market. Look, I'll tell you where I am, uh, what I'm thinking. I, I just think the, the market size, I don't know how big it's going to be, and I want to invest in something I know where the market is in particular, even if it's a concept stage. Yeah. So it's not for me, this one. So good luck, but I'm out. I'm yeah, out. no problem. Appreciate it, yeah. Tin and failure to nail down the market opportunity has cost the laid-back entrepreneur his first dragon. But could Theo Pafitis have the inside track on whether the product could be a fixture on retail shelves? Tin, let me tell you where I am. Yeah. I've got nearly a hundred hardware stores. Yeah, oh yeah. All of which sell DIY and tools. So I'm looking at this and saying, could I put this into my stores and will it earn its keep? OK, yeah. And I came up with the answer. No. So for that reason, I'm going to say good invention, but not all inventions are investable. And I think this is one of them. OK, yeah. So I'm afraid I'm out. All right, no problem. Views and opinions appreciated. Tinan. My big thing for me, I can't get over, is whilst I think you know it does what it says on the tin, is whether people will still use a ruler and a pencil to mark the points of where they need to drill the hole. Eh, uh, I don't know. I've been to a tile show and I've watched some people that have time served 30, 40 years and they've not got it as neat as that. Do you know what? You've created something really clever, but I don't know whether it is actually good enough to sell in the volumes that you expect. But I can see you selling quite a few of them because I think it's a useful product. But I don't think it's going to create or make a business out of it. For that reason, I'm out. Peter Jones becomes the third dragon to pull the rug from under the carpet fitter's pitch. But Tiernan came in wanting Deborah Meaden. Can the doyen of DIY see him fitting perfectly into her portfolio? I love what you've done. I love it when people are doing something and they think, why hasn't somebody come up with a tool to make this better? I love that. I do think there are tradesmen who will use it. You know, I completely get that just because people can do it one way doesn't mean to say that if they have a tool to do it better, then they'll do it the other way. Yeah. I love an awful lot about this. But the issue for me is I don't think this is the hero product. This, to me, feels like a product that you'd add to a range of products. I mean, I sell in all of the DIY stores across the country and the biggest ones in the US. And the bigger the facing you can get, the better your chances of selling, because if you've got one product on one peg in a very, very busy store, people have just walked past you. And that's why you kind of need to bundle these products together and say, well, actually, here's a range for you, so you can't miss us. And I worry there isn't quite enough in this market to do that. So I'm out. It's a case of DIY SOS for Tiernan as the dragon he had designs on declines to invest. But does Sarah Davies see any opportunity for the cutting-edge invention. 
I disagree with Deborah. I think this is a hero product. And I think the potential for this, with that bit of work, is massive in the US. Massive. How many tradesmen are there in the UK who would need this tool? I'd say every single tradesman, bar electricians, to be fair. Which has got to be a lot of tradesmen. Yeah. yeah. OK, I get it and I'm thinking, yeah. fantastic. But I do believe that for all you've done the challenging bit, yeah. there are a lot of skills that you're missing to get the product physically into the market. Agreed. Yeah. I don't know how much you know about me. We invented a product and did exactly what you've done. And then I did all the bit that comes next, which is taking it to market. And I've now built a very successful multinational company off the back of that. And also, I own an injection moulding company and we could actually tool this product for you and deliver you a product ready to go. Yep. OK, well, I think I'd like to make you an offer. To do that, for us to be in partnership, I would offer you all of the money, but I would want 30% of the business in return. Yep. An 11th hour reprieve for Tin and Asara Davies throws him a lifeline with an offer. But she's asking for 30% of the business, twice the cut he was offering. Is he prepared to take on the dragon and negotiate? Do you want to think about it, Tinan? Eh, uh, no, no, I won't waste your time. Yeah, it sounds good. Yeah, I'll take your offer. <laughs> OK. <laughs> oh, <that's laughs> uh... <laughs> yeah, all right. <laughs> you had him at hello. <laughs> <laughs> you had him at hello. Well done, Tinan. Right. Well done. Cheers, 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 guys. Well done. Well done. Yeah. He's off. He's off. <laughs> I'm not sending you in to negotiate any of our business deals. <laughs> Tinan has done it. And it seems sealing a deal with a multimillionaire investor keen to propel his business to the big time is all in a day's work for this easygoing entrepreneur. I'm really happy with the outcome. I hope me and Sarah's going to work well together, yeah? She's obviously seen something, so let's see. Sarah, look, well done. I think actually you can add all the value to this for him. Yeah, yeah. He's a straight shooting guy.